going to order a special meeting for uh, Desire City Council, October 11th, 2022, 7 p.m. All rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. McKeever? Here. Myers? Here. Wireball? Potter? Here. Sherrick? Here. Spiegel? Here. Young? Here. This is a meeting that was called by council members regarding the wages for council clerk and the county tax. Granting permission for visitors to speak. Before I start, I just want to make sure that I'm allowed to speak on anything. Okay. okay. Vicki Deshawn, 1108 Hillcrest Drive, Bucyrus, Ohio. On September the 12th, I emailed Council Clerk Pro Tem Myers making a public records request for a copy of the approved August 25th Economic Development Committee meeting minutes. On September 13th, I received an email response from Council President Vermillion with a committee meeting packet attached that included the August 25th draft committee meeting minutes. On September 15th, I again made a public records request for a copy of the approved August 25th Economic Development Committee meeting minutes. On September 22nd, I spoke at the Economic Development Committee meeting and advised the members of my public records request and the fact that as of that date, I had not received the requested meeting minutes. Per the Ohio Sunshine Laws, the Ohio Public Records Act states that public offices are required to provide copies of requested records in a reasonable period of time. These terms do not mean immediately or without a moment's delay, but the courts will find a violation of this requirement when an office cannot show that the time taken was reasonable. It has been 21 business days since my initial public records request, and I still have not received the requested meeting minutes. The person requesting the public record may file a mandamus action in the common police court against the public office or any person responsible for the office's public records and they shall receive statutory damages, which are fixed at $100 for each business day that the record is not provided, up to a maximum of $1,000, beginning with the day on which the mandamus action is filed. Assuming counsel does not wish to be party to a mandamus action, your response to my public records request, no later than 5 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, October the 12th, 2022, is expected. Thank you. Anybody else? All right, consideration of proposed legislation for the first time. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> proposed resolution 238-2022, appointing Susan Zolovic to fill the position of Bucyrus Council Clerk on a full-time 40-hour per week basis throughout 2022 and 2023 at an hourly figure of $19.50 for 2022 and $20 for 2023 together with the available health insurance and sick leave entitlements, et cetera, for all non-union, non-elected, full-time, 40-hour-per-week city employees. Further, the clerk's 40-hour-per-week shall include her attendance at all regularly scheduled and specially called council meetings and regularly scheduled and specially called committee meetings. Further, the clerk shall be paid compensation for one and one-half times the basic hourly rate for hours worked over 40 hours when authorized by the council president, set appointment retroactive to October 3, 2022, and declaring an emergency. And, oh, and proposed resolution 239-2022, accepting the amounts and rates as determined by the Budget Commission and authorizing the necessary tax rates and certifying them to the county auditor and declaring an emergency. Do I have a motion to accept this as the first reading? So moved. Second. Um, motion by Mr. McKeever, second by Mr. Potter. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Allowing for public participation of comments and legislation read for the first time. I have a question. What's the tax rate? It says accept the tax rate, but what's the tax rate? <clears throat> so we're just at 
We were given a. What she wanted was getting. Well, that was his brother accepting an unknown tax rate. Exactly. That was one of my comments that I need to make about the resolution 239-2022. It's this form that came from Robin Sheets that everyone got a copy of. I know Joyce mentioned in the committee meeting there was no change from last year. I, I do know that. <clears throat> it's showing the same tax rates as it was last year. Would you like to copy, Vicki? This is the same. You can have this one if you like. Uh, no. I, I do want to comment, though, on that resolution whenever it's time for me to be able to talk. I have comments to make on both of the resolutions. I'm going to take them out of order, if that's okay. Um, resolution 239, 2022, dealing with accepting the amounts and rates as determined by the Budget Commission and authorizing the necessary tax rates and certifying them to the county auditor. Section 2 of the resolution states, as indicated in the attached Exhibit A. However, if you will note, there is no Exhibit A attached. This exhibit, which um, Ms. Sherry has pretty well confirmed, I mean, it identifies the amounts and rates which council is authorizing and certifying. The fact that it says that it's attached as Exhibit A, council is approving or, or council is authorizing and certifying something that is not attached to the resolution. And I mean, you have the question, you know, from one council person. I mean, yes, it was stated that these were passed out or by Robin Sheets and they were, what, evidently shown at the, one of the committee meetings. But still, you've stated in your resolution it's attached and it is not. So when us citizens go to documents on demand and we pull up this resolution, there is no attachment. But more importantly, and I've had this conversation before, council has approved legislation that refers to an attachment when in fact the attachment has not been attached. Secondly, my comments next are concerning resolution number 238, 2022, dealing with the appointment of Susan Solovic as Solovic. council clerk. Pardon? Solovic. Solovic as council clerk. First off, I want to preface my comment with, I have absolutely no problem with your appointment as council clerk. I do have concerns about the legislation and what's contained in it. First off, if you look at resolution number 238, in the caption, and in section one of the resolution, it states that the clerk's appointment is retroactive to October 3rd. However, if you go to section four, it states to set up financial books retroactive to October 1st. 
In watching the video recording of the October 6th Finance Committee meeting, I heard the following. Finance member McKeever made a motion as an emergency to start Susan, and I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name again, his wages at 1950 with a 50 cents rate increase at the beginning of 2023, pay retroactive once the legislation is passed. Interim Law Director Gurner questioned Retroactive to, Auditor Schiffer stated, you pass it by Monday, you'd be golden. Gerner stated, do you want that retroactive to October 1st? McKeever stated, yeah. Gerner stated, October 3rd? Schiffer stated, yeah. No decision was made by the committee on whether the retroactive date was October 1st or October 3rd. And no amendment was made by or was made to McKeever's original motion. That motion being that the pay was retroactive once the legislation is passed. Finance Chairperson Wireball stated he had a motion by McKeever with a second by Myers. However, in watching and listening to the video recording, you do not hear Myers seconding the motion, nor does the caption, which appears at the bottom of the video and it has the words, at no time does it state Myers seconded the motion. In light of the above, it would appear that the Finance Committee needs to revisit proposed resolution number 238-2022. Thank you. and questions. I believe we need to revisit back with Finance Committee and then call another special committee or council meeting to vote. We have a motion to adjourn. We'll move. We have a second. Second. We are adjourned at 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs>